Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Selenium Python tutorial, we are going to continue our framework discussion. And the first thing we want to discuss is what are the tools that we'll be using basically, right? So we are learning Selenium with Python. So by default, Selenium Python, which we have already understood and we have been covering Selenium installation, Python installation. Then we have also covered the PyTest testing framework that we'll be using as part of this framework development. For data-driven testing, we'll be using OpenPy Excel library so that that module will be using for reports we'll be using some of the reports so we'll start with the HTML and then allure reports and we'll also do the parallel execution so we'll have the module which is pytest x test for parallel execution so this is this is a brief list that we will start with right but uh, we we already have these bits installed right so we have learned selenium we have learned python selenium with python and then we have learned pytest so now as further we progress with our framework modularization then we'll keep installing the required modules accordingly okay but this is just to give you an idea what all might be required as part of the framework development it's not just selenium python and pytest it's it's a lot more uh, along with these we will be doing the logs and everything so we'll as we go along you will get hold of all of that right so now first thing here is that because we'll be using pytest and pytest test cases have a uh, syntax to follow right so here we have given the name demo tc so let's first thing do is refactor it and name it as test search flights right so i'm just giving search flights and this test underscore is required for a particular test case to be recognized as a test case in pytest right so i'll just refactor so that this file that we have copied the search flights gets renamed to test underscore search flights right now the class name as well so i will simply say test search and verify filter okay and now the method name let me just and test search flights okay so just change the method name there now because we have changed the class name there right so we have to create an object of this class the previous class was used here to create the object and call the method so i'll use this class name there to create an object and this is the variable that holds the reference of this particular object and then we will call the method which is basically test search flights okay all right so now let me remove all of these steps because we have already added these steps in our code right so as part of the comment now the next bit is to externalize the driver launch basically the browser launch and maximizing the page so opening the application that you are testing we are, we are working with this particular website and then maximizing the window so because we are working with pytest and in the pytest tutorial if you haven't watched the previous tutorial on pytest go ahead and watch it there is a conf test file right conf test.py file that we have learned already so that file we can define the setup and tear down methods okay so we can simply create a new python file and i will name it as conf test.py file now in this file i'll create a method so i'll say just name the method as setup right and in the setup method what all setup is required to do this particular test this is all the setup right so opening the browser so i'll simply cut all of these details from here and paste it in the setup method in the conf test.py right now there are some errors so we'll need to import so if you just hover over and import selenium web driver right so selenium web driver from selenium import web driver then we are using chrome driver manager so we'll import chrome driver manager okay and then we are doing the weight so we'll import the weight as well all right so now you'll see all the errors are gone and we have defined the setup method in contest.py okay now this is to make it a fixture so what we need to do is we will simply use the annotation or the decorator so we'll say i test at the rate i test dot fixture right and import pi test all right so now this particular setup method is the fixture all right and now as part of the pytest series we have also learned that if we have to define this fixture scope at the class level we can simply add the fixture okay we can say scope and scope we can define as class right so we can simply say class because this is our test class right so in this particular test class 
I want to use that setup fixture. So this is my setup, right? And uh, if I'm going to run uh, this particular test case, I have to get uh, this particular fixture, right? So to call this particular fixture in the class, I've defined the scope as class. So this will be applicable at the class level. And in order to call this particular setup fixture at the class level, I simply need to get this setup name here. And in test search flights class here, which is our test class, we'll simply say at PyTest. So there is a decorator marker, right? So we have understood about the marker in PyTest as well. So we'll simply say PyTest dot mark, okay? And then dot use fixtures, right? So we'll say use fixtures and provide the name of the fixture that we want to use, right? So setup is the name of the fixture, which we have defined here. So this is the method name. And this is the fixture that we, want, that we want to use because we want to launch the browser, open the test URL and maximize the window which is common for the test cases, right? So which is common for this test cases or any further test cases. Now to resolve this error, I'll simply import PyTest in this particular class as well. Okay, so this error has gone. Now you will see there are a couple of more errors, right? So wait, and then if you go to driver, right? So driver, because we have removed this launching browser. So previously what we were doing is we were doing this web driver.chrome and then we were instantiating this particular web driver and then driver was driver variable was holding that particular driver to drive the browser instance. Now that driver instance is no more part of this particular class, the test class. So how can we fix it, right? So as part of the pi test we have understood about the setup so anything that is mentioned here there is setup and in order to set up the tier down there was a keyword yield and anything that you put after the keyword yield was the tear down method so here if so for example i want to drive close the driver so i will simply say driver dot close and call here so this will be our tear down and this is set up and this is all explained as part of the pi test so please go through that series because that's very important to understand the framework okay now the first thing is whatever driver instance we have here that needs to be recognized so basically this driver instance needs to be recognized in this particular file in the test file right so basically this is a method which instantiates the driver right now unless until this driver is passed or this driver drives the methods that are there in this particular file there is no linkage between contest and the test file right so in order to provide that linkage what pytest provides us is so let's go to pytest documentation and understand what we can use so there is a request fixture that is available in pytest as well right so what this request fixture does is it is a special fixture and provides the information of the requesting test function now the test function our test function is this one it this function needs the driver from this particular fixture so what we can use is we can use the request fixture that is the special fixture provided by PyTest. So request fixture can be provided here as part of the setup. So to provide that, we'll simply say request as an argument in this particular setup fixture. Okay. And then here after this driver is instantiated and here we'll simply say request dot CLS, which is basically which stands for class. And then we'll say dot driver is equal to driver and that's pretty much what we need to do so what we are doing here is once the driver is instantiated as part of the setup process we are just returning or we are basically saying this driver is now this reference should now be available at the class level of the requesting class right so whichever class requests a driver who is calling this particular setup fixture so in this case who is calling the setup fixture test dot search flight is calling the setup fixture now this driver should be available to that particular calling fixture right this is the CLS stands for class all right and if you read the documentation here you will see that the usage basically you can see here it is CLS stands for class it can be none where the test function was collected right so class where the test function was collected so in this case here this is the class which is requesting that particular driver okay so now this driver should be available here now the last bit here in order to fix these error is now because we have understood as part of the Python series as well that if we are calling the class variables right so we have to use the self okay so here instead of the weight so we simply have to say self dot weight 
all right and you will see the errors will be gone so everywhere where you see the error simply say self dot wait for the weights that are there so because there is a weight that we are defining here as well as part of the instantiation and then there is a driver as well okay so okay one more thing guys one more thing so we have to okay let's 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 go ahead with this approach and then we'll see if there is any issue okay so now i'll simply change quickly everywhere self dot weight and then self dot driver wherever we have used the driver or the way all right so now there are no errors at all okay and what we have done is we have externalized or we have now the launch browser launch and the application launch has been part of the setup fixture so now if tomorrow i have another test case i simply have to call this particular fixture and launching browser and opening the travel website or the application url opening the application url will be handled automatically so i do not have to write those lines that i have written previously these lines here again in any of my test case that i'll write in this particular test case for okay now because i have converted this to my pi test i do not lines anymore so i can remove these right so this is my pi test i'm using pi test framework and the next thing is to run this pi test okay so we'll simply go to the configurations and add the configuration pi test and we'll select the script go to the test cases select our test okay click okay apply now you'll see we have in the configuration in the PyCharm we have PyTest in test search flight. Now if you run it, let's see what's the result. It launched the browser, it opened the website, right? Maximize the page and fail. Okay, so this was uh, the expected thing. Now why this failed, right? So if we analyze, let's analyze the results why it failed. Okay, so you will see that here attribute error test object has no attribute weight, which is pretty obvious that it will fail so in the contest.py we have return or for the class we are using this request fixture which is special fixture to return the driver object that got created here as part of the setup but weight is also we are also using this web driver weight and we are not passing that to our test case here right so we have used this self dot weight and weight needs to be transferred from this particular fixture the setup class to the test class as well so we will simply say request dot cls dot weight and then assign the weight object that we are creating here right the, the weight variable holds the reference of this particular web driver weight object that reference is being assigned to the class so there is a chaining basically for the driver as well as the weight okay so now if you go back and run this test case it should work as expected so it should open the browser open the travel website and whatever test case was doing previously so it will select depart from will select going to so yeah okay so this is synchronization issue as you would have seen like so when it was typing new york you would have seen that it has typed in very frequently the text and these are all issues the real time issues that you have to fix okay and as part of this framework development will fix all of these issues and this is what you will actually do in your projects right not some dummy website where you don't find any issues at all because everything is you know very small and simple and there are no synchronization issues okay so let's run again and see if this time it passes but yes definitely we are going to fix this how it is going to pass the keys so that the keys do not get passed so quickly that the test case fails altogether so you'll see this time it has passed no changes in the script it has clicked on search flow and it will wait for the whole page to scroll and this is what dynamic scroll will look like so it will scroll then again check the length of the page again scroll so this is JavaScript executor that we are using in this particular page it has selected number one and then you'll see that it has failed which is expected right so it is failing because of the assertion errors which you have already seen so it was passing for the four steps and then for the next one it is not finding the one stop in one of the locator so either it is a locator issue or the actual text itself is not getting being extracted from the locator which which shows that there is one stop and it is not able to finalize that assertion okay so this is a brief introduction of the starting point of the framework development framework development takes time so there will be you know like a lot many videos in this particular series and i'm trying to elaborate the things so that it makes sense 
and makes you easy to understand why you are doing the steps that that I'm explaining here, right? So we have now fixed the first step, which is launching the browser and opening travel website. Now here, I'm using this web driver wait as part of the setup itself. This is not the recommended approach as well. So we'll externalize this web driver wait separately as we move along, okay? But for now, this is the first step of launching the browser and opening the travel website or opening the test URL as part of the framework development. We do not want to have it in our test case. So that's the first step that we have used a PyTest fixture, setup fixture to remove that hard coding in our test cases. So that's all for this tutorial. I hope it was helpful. Thank you very much for watching.